Congratulations! You have found Binance, one of the leading platforms for trading crypto coins. Here is a quick guide on what Binance has to offer and how to get started. First, you will need to create a Binance account. Make sure you are on an official Binance website, then click on register. Enter your email, password, and referral code if you have one. Check the box after going through the terms of use and click on register. Next, you will be prompted to verify your account with the email that you have provided. Once registered and logged in, you may want to start trading. There are two markets to choose from, the Bitcoin market and the Ethereum market. To start trading, you will need to either have Bitcoin or Ethereum. For the Bitcoin market, your trading pair will be the coin of your choice against Bitcoin. And similarly, for Ethereum, the trading pair will be the coin of your choice against Ethereum. There is also another market called the BNB market. In this market, your trading pair will be the coin of your choice against the BNB coin, which is Binance's home coin. To start depositing Bitcoin or Ethereum into your Binance account, click on the Funds tab at the top right hand corner of the screen, followed by Deposit and Withdrawals. Here you'll be directed to a page full of coin listings. You want to find either Bitcoin or Ethereum. For this example, we'll be using Bitcoin. Now to deposit Bitcoin, just go to the row with the Bitcoin symbol. Next, in that same row, click on Deposit. Once you've done that, a link address will show up and this is where you want to deposit your Bitcoin to. Similarly, very easy, to withdraw, click on the Withdraw tab and there will be a space for you to enter the address where you want to send your coins to. Now it is to note that always make sure you send the right coin to the right address because once the transfer has been made, it might not be reversible. So do take note of that. Once you've made a withdrawal and sent your coin, an email confirmation will be sent to you and this is an extra layer of security that Binance provides. Alright, great job! Once you've deposited your Bitcoin or Ethereum, you are now ready to start trading cryptocurrencies. At the homepage, you will see a long list of coins to choose from. If you have a coin in mind, type it here in the search bar. Today, we are going to use XRP coin as an example. Now we'll click on this coin. At this page, you are probably wondering, what are all these? So complicated. Well, rest assured, this is easier than it actually seems. Now on the page, over here, this is the total amount of Bitcoin funds you have to trade with. This is the price you set for buying a particular coin and the amount of coin you want to chase. Now for your convenience, Binance actually shows you the maximum amount of coins you can purchase at the price you set. Over here is the total cost in terms of BTC for purchasing those coins. Similarly, at the sell section, this is the total amount of coins you have for sale. This is the price you want to sell at, the total amount of coins you can sell. Again, for your convenience, the maximum amount of coins you can sell is stated here. And this is the proceeds you're going to get from selling these coins. Something interesting to note, right here as you can see there are tabs that indicate 25%, 50%, 75% and 100%. If you click on 100% at the buy section, it shows you the maximum amount of coins you can buy at the price you set with the total amount of funds you have. As you can see, the number here and the number here tallies. Similarly, if you click on the 50% tab, it shows you the amount of coin you can purchase at your set price using half of your total funds. So 50% of your total price at your set price and this is the amount of coins you can purchase. Now this concept is similar at the sell section. If you click on the 100% tab, it shows you the total maximum amount of coins you can sell at this price and the proceeds that come after. If you click on 50%, it shows you if by selling 50% of your total stock at this price, what is the proceeds you're going to get. Here, you also have the option to choose limit, market and stop limit. For limit, the order will only be closed if it reaches the price you set. For market, you are buying and selling at the determined market price. While stop limit is an order to buy and sell a coin once the price has reached a specific price. These tools of convenience are one of the reasons that makes Binance such a user-friendly platform. Once a buy or sell order has been placed, you will see it reflected on the open orders section. And once an open order has been filled, it will disappear from the opens order section and reappear on the order history. Now right now you might be thinking, are there any fees associated with cancelling an open order? 
Well, the answer is no. Another advantage of using Binance is the ability to reduce fees by using Binance's home coin called BNB coins. To enable this option, click on account, enable this option, buy some BNB coins, and it's that simple. Now that the basics are covered, let's move on to some additional features. Now, Binance takes security very seriously. So under your account, you have the option to enable the 2FA. This is an added layer of security that is highly recommended. Next, you can export your complete trade history to your computer under the Trade History tab, another tool that Binance offers. At any point, if you have any questions, feel free to contact support or look through a list of common FAQs. This is the end of this guide by the start of your crypto journey at Binance.